Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a question from CBSE Class 10, 2024-25. Sample question paper for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041. Section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question has an OR question as well, which we will be discussing in another video. Now this question is from Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables chapter. So let us start with this one now. Solve the following system of linear equations graphically. Now the equations are x plus 2y equal to 3 and 2x minus 3y plus 8 equal to 0. Now here we have to draw a graph for the given two equations. And these two equations represents a straight line. So we have to see where the two lines will intersect and that intersecting point is going to give us the solution for these two equations. So let us begin with our first step that is rearranging both the equations in such a way that y becomes the subject. So let us start with the first equation now. So the first equation is x plus 2y is equal to 3. Now taking x on the right hand side we get 2y is equal to 3 minus x and then taking 2 on the other side we get y is equal to 3 minus x over 2. Now here we have drawn a small table and here we need minimum of two coordinates to draw a straight line. So I am going to take two values of x and then see what are the values of y. And the same thing we are going to do for the second equation now. So 2x minus 3y plus 8 equal to 0. Now taking 3y on the right hand side because y is negative here we are trying to make it positive. So negative 3y becomes positive 3y is equal to on the other side 2x plus 8 remains. Now taking 3 on the right hand side we get y is equal to 2x plus 8 over 3. Now once we have done this again we are going to make use of a table so that we get two coordinates to draw a straight line. Now let us start with the first equation. Now here since the denominator is 2 try to get the value of x in such a way that the numerator gets easily divided by 2. So here we can start with 1. So here we have started with the calculations. So this is our main equation y is equal to 3 minus x over 2. And taking the value of x as 1, we get y is equal to 3 minus 1 over 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2 and 2 divided by 2, we get the value of y as 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. So here we have written 1 and 1. Now let us find out the second coordinate. So for that we have taken the value of x as 3. Because in this equation, 3 minus 3 becomes 0 in the numerator. So 0 divided by 2 is going to be 0 itself. So when x is 3, y is 0. Now we have got two points or two coordinates for the first equation. Let us follow the same procedure for the second equation now. Now this is our second equation that is y is equal to 2x plus 8 over 3. Now since in the denominator we have 3, choose the value of x in such a way that the numerator gets easily divided by 3. So here we have chosen the value of x as negative 1. So y is equal to 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 2 plus 8 and negative 2 plus 8 gives us 6 when we add these two divided by 3 and 3 divides 6 so 3 1 times is 3 and 3 2 times is 6 so when x is negative 1 we get the value of y as 2 so here we have written x is negative 1 and y is 2 now let us take the next value of x as 2 so y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 8 and 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 plus 8 is 12, so 12 divided by 3. And again now here 12 is easily divisible by 3. That is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 4 times is 12. So here when x is 2, y is 4. So here we have written x value as 2 and y value as 4. Now once we have got the coordinates for the equation 1 and equation 2, let us begin with the graph. Now here in the graph we have shown the x-axis and the y-axis. And here is the origin at 0. Now we have also written the scale which is a very important point. Now at the x-axis we have considered one unit as one centimeter. And the same thing we have seen here on the y-axis we have taken one unit as one centimeter. Now once we have done this let us start with the coordinates of the first equation. So here for the first point the coordinates are 1 comma 1. So x is 1 and y is 1. So we got our first point here for the first equation. And for the second point, we have x coordinate as 3 and y coordinate as 0. So x is 3 and y is 0, which means our second point is over here. Now let us draw a straight line passing through these two points. So this is a straight line. And once you have drawn the line, write the equation it represents. 
So this line represents x plus 2y equal to 3. That is our first equation. Next, let us focus on the coordinates of these two points. So the first point has a coordinate of negative 1 on the x-axis and positive 2 on the y-axis. So negative 1 x-axis and positive 2 on the y-axis. So our first point for the second equation is over here. And the second point coordinates are the x-coordinate is 2 and the y-coordinate is 4. So our second point is going to be here. That is 2 and 4. Now let us draw a line through these two points. So this is the line representing 2x minus 3y plus 8 equal to 0. Now to find the solution of these two lines, we have to check the intersecting point. Now here we can clearly see that the two lines intersect at the point where its x coordinate is negative 1 and the y coordinate is 2. So here we are going to write the solution is negative 1 comma 2. That is the intersecting point. So here the x coordinate of the solution is negative 1. And the y coordinate of the solution is positive 2. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can click on these playlists where you'll find more examples of these kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.